the Nigerians know what to do. A win and progressing into the next stage to possibly square off things with Cameroon. Can the Nigerian Super Falcons uh, get the second win of the tournament to set up that encounter with Cameroon? We'll have a look at the highlights. Nigeria versus Burundi. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. National anthem for Nigeria is ongoing, and the coach and um, war drum. A lot of people are seeing the Super Falcons make it to um, Australia, New Zealand in 2023. I'm actually panicking how all white, hmm. maybe victory wow. for them. That's what they're screaming. And Aisha, I want. I Amadou promised them when they were leaving mm -hmm. um, uh, to uh, Lagos. So it, it's, it's quite a lot for a, someone who wants to, to remain in. So playing with her, it gives you a sum of uh, respect. And from the Stad Malay um, Hassan Stadium in Rabat, uh, we're off uh, as night. <laughs> <laughs> you were able to, I mean, get your, your midfielders and your, your, uh, your strikers to help you. Still mm. in a danger zone for Burundi, where Nigeria could possibly be scoring their first goal, but it misses yeah. uh, the goal post there. It's so, early days, but the Burundians are not opening up. They are closing in on the Nigerians because I'm sure they know that their attack is very sharp, and if they take any chances, the Nigerians will take um, advantage of it, and then they, their, their goals will come from these mistakes. And um, I'm hoping the Nigerians will get early goals so that they will be able to hold on to the win till the end of the game. We talked a lot about the inexperience of Janine, and there's a classic example mm -hmm. of that in the uh, a replay of the second corner kick that they got. But we're waiting to see. I think there was. A so probably there's a VAR check, VAR check for yeah. maybe a handball. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, there was no VAR check for a handball. That oh. was a waste. Uh, that was what is really that? Mean. <laughs> Breasting and all the pressure is on the Burundians. Mm -hmm. But I think they should. Nigeria, what they are doing is very good, but they, as they have to take advantage of all these chances they are creating. Oh my God, I your girl has I done it. <laughs> well, you, I mean, <laughs> what, uh, what did she, she just do? She, she could possibly just what did she the just do? Wherever. Well, yeah. Janine will follow the ball to wherever ah, she, what she just she do? Misses. You should, your she defenders are go there. Back go back. Let's do the work go back. Effie was not able oh, to connect no. with your, when you see the beautiful <laughs> football that Oh, but Tuana is also 0-0 in that game. But South Africa have already qualified to the next stage of the competition. Once a Chiamaka will be able to do it. Now it's the opportunity for Nigeria to have gotten that um, opener. And <laughs> finally, Uchena can mm -hmm. at tournament. So beating Nigeria or even scoring against Nigeria, any player that is likely to score against Nigeria, it will be a national holiday. That will be a second birthday for us. Indeed, and then Rachel Bukuru conceding the foul with Uchena Kanu looking to power her way through. Speaking of powering her way through, Ajibade with the ball into a danger area that might fall for Effi. Well, the defence is looking. Oh, lovely ball through here off the wet turf. It's going to skid kindly through for the goalkeeper who comes dashing out of her 18-yard area. It steers the ball away. The ball is kept in the field of play. Mushebit. And this a decent-looking delivery. Ajibane has got pace. She goes around and she goes down. It's clearly a penalty. The referee has signalled. Huge pace from Ajibade, who's brought down by the goalkeeper Irakozi, and Nigeria will have their first golden opportunity to score in this tie from the penalty mark. The Nigerians really do well in recycling the ball, but a great run from Ajibade, who doesn't really give up, even though I thought the goalkeeper had anticipated initially, but clearly a foul, definite penalty. Clear penalty. Ajibade has got that heavily strapped left hamstring. Just hope nothing has been uh, to give Nigeria the lead. A successfully steer this ball into the back of the net. Nigeria are a goal to the good. 25 minutes in. Rashidat Ajibade has her second goal of this tournament, but important. The Pichichi winner in Spain. 
somebody who is a quality striker from start to finish and would love to have been part of the uh, Nigerian side that hoped to claim a 10th title at the Women's Africa Cup of Nations. Chance for another goal here, and it's comfortably steered into the back of the net, almost from kickoff. Very comfortable for Nigeria's piss. Effie gets the goal. The Super Falcons are absolutely flying now. Straight from kickoff. And having been on the park for just a number of seconds, the 16-year-old goalkeeper, Anissa Irankundo, has conceded her first against the Super Falcons. Well, defending, certainly a little lacklustre through a few legs. Not the best of welcome for the goalkeeper who just uh, came on as a sub, but uh, I think this is the kind of start uh, that... Uh, Injury to the goalkeeper. Those goals in actual play time have come only seconds apart. Here might be another great chance toward the back post. And would you believe it? It's three goals. It's raining goals as Uchenna Kanu gets in on the act. Adjibade created it. And again, effectively from kickoff, Nigeria are running riot. Beautiful ball laid in over the top that Adjibade was able to get onto the end of. Goes beyond Unumunu, who was waiting for it. And Uchenna Kanu, the goal poacher deluxe. Not much time, cramped for space, still tucks it home. Belinda should have done well. They should have done a lot better in terms of intercepting that cross from Adjibade. Uh, but yet again, the defense just really, really uh, not sure of where, which angles to cover and uh, it's definitely going to be a long, long evening. The treble, Super Cup, the Cup and the league. Great chance here for Burundi and it's Undo. Unumunu might run onto this. Instead, it looks like it's curling into the path of Uchenna Kanu. Okay, grabs a second. Nigeria have four. The offside flag has gone up. But there might be a look at this. Now, Onumonu is standing in an offside position. Uchenna Kanu couldn't really see from that uh, play. Okay. The offside has been confirmed, so Uchenna Kanu might have found the back of the net twice, but only one of her goals is... Again, into a danger position, and that should have been tucked away. Goalkeepers come charging out. Uchen Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. The Nigerians now really finding their, their, their rhythm in the game, finding the loop. Is not there to pick up the ball, and now Unumunu looking to find another goal in this game. Nigeria pushing for number four before half time. Denied initially, but still alive. And this will be out for the. Ball out wide. Unumunu, Kanu central. Kanu, Kanu, and she's missed. Well, the second half is underway. And it is Burundi who turn out in the red, who trail by three at half time. All the way back to uh, the replacement goalkeeper, Iran Kundo, who came on midway through the opening half. And Ajibade under possession immediately in Nigeria, looking to start the positive fashion. The second half, and they've done so. 22 seconds into the second half, they have scored again. Just brilliant from Nigeria. Uchenna Kanu is celebrating. Mulumonu is celebrating. They <laughs> remarkably had two substitutions waiting to make their way onto the pitch. They weren't on the pitch. The half got off to a bit of a false start. Adjibade picked up on that ball, delivered back inside, and Kanu, showing a genuine finishing ability, just steers that comfortably into the back of the net on the bounce. 
very well taken goal and um, I think it's just really unfortunate uh, for Burundi. Um, they're looking very lethargic, even just coming out from the from the dressing room, uh, coming to start the second half. They're going to have to make things happen for themselves and just really try to make sure that they really compete. Oh, Ajibane has picked up possession here. Could be a fifth on the cards for Nigeria. Steered almost back into the past of Kanu, who might have a hat-trick here and is denied by the goalkeeper. A fine save from the 16-year-old. Still very much alive for Nigeria. So they apply pressure on the Burundi midfield. Bona takes the throw quickly. Bonomi Ebi to Tony Payne, but this is looking back at the, the last effort. And yet again, the defense is made a tournament um, coming on as a debutant for the uh, Wafcon. So I can't imagine that feeling for anyone that would be able to score a hat-trick. Shot here from range is into the woodwork. It's tipped on. It might be followed up, though. There are muted appeals for a penalty, but my word. Bushebe with a thrashing effort from a long way out. How about that? The goalkeeper gets fingertips on it. Great strike from the midfielder, showing great vision, just so much power as well, but the goalkeeper excellent to the task. Only just to Burundi, a little bump off the ball, a little bit of a shoulder. That's McLean's looking for a goal, it's taken a deflection of one of the defenders and comfortably claimed by the goalkeeper. in Poland is the dangerous striker with Kornik Lesna. Oh, a little bit of a run, a little bit of space for Pisefi. And she's looking to make the most of this as well. The square ball might come. Looks to go near side and nearly saw that ball into the back of the net. I think there was an attempted uh, cutback that nearly proved worthy of a goal. Lovely run. In the end, I think she was just somebody who uh, represented Nigeria successfully at the 2016. Nigeria has set up a clash now with Cameroon in the quarter final. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.